Hey everybody, we are at the PRS factory and we are here with none other than the legend himself, Matt Ariza. Maybe legend, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> but he is the uh, spray room manager and the cool thing, well one of the many cool things about Matt is that he came up with Ariza Verde, which is a very popular color, and then Blue Mateo, right? Well, yes. Kind of, yeah, Mateo. <laughs> so, you know, they're both awesome colors. You know, some of our favorites at, at more guitars, man. So, good to see you. Good to see you, brother. <laughs> How long have you been here? I'm on my 25th year. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's been quite a journey. I didn't even want the job, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. And here you are. Yeah, well, I Well, you were like summer summer help or something? And then... I started in May, and I was just like, yeah, just basically, uh, I just uh, got out of college and I was just like, yeah, there's a guitar place. And I was like, all right, well, why not? And yeah. it was supposed to be a summer job, but I guess 25 years later, I guess they, <laughs> they, they kind of they sucked me in, so. No, that's cool. <laughs> well, I found out, you know, when I found out you were a spray booth manager, I was like, that's pretty damn cool. Dude that came up with two bitching colors, you know. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's been, a, like I said, it's been a journey and I've done like a lot of stuff in the finished stuff, so. Yeah. Know, it's, You've been around. Yes, yes, just to say the least. So. Did you, so, give me uh, an idea, like the difference between doing like a uh, like one of the simpler colors. Like, what what's an easy color to do? You know, back uh, I'll say back in the day, some, the, the the easy colors that we what, what made our production easy was the fact that like it would be like a what we call a two coat, or you just put two coats on and it was done. Okay. And that generally that was a lot of our our um, vintage yellows, a lot of our um, emerald greens. Um, Whale Blues was almost a two-stage. Yeah. And th those are, those are we always generally called like easy color, you know. It's, okay. it's, we used um, a lot of leather dyes that had like a lot of just a vibrance to it. We didn't use like normal normal stains everybody else. We used like really, I mean, stuff to take basically dead animal skin and, <laughs> and give it life. I mean, that's that's what yeah. Paul found, you, yeah, using yeah. leather dye, so. So what's, so what's a, what's one of the most complicated colors? Oh yeah, right now, anything that we have to sand out, you know, it's like you see these guys, it's just. Yeah. Mainly because it's 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 not so much putting the stain on. It's actually the hard part. The hard part is actually like trying to sand it out evenly because yeah. you know, especially with all this kind of grain in the wood, where you got the darker parts, the soft part, and yeah. then the, the the harder part is the light part, and trying to get that to yeah. sand out evenly without with all these high parts creating like light spots or anything sure. else. It's, to tell you the truth, sanding it out is is, is quite an art form. And, so know, what is a tough color? Uh, I mean, black gold, charcoal, sand out. Uh, Violet. They're, okay. <laughs> in fact, a lot of our colors right now are, are sand outs, and it's like, yeah. you know, and I'll let me things down. Quite yeah. A bit. Well, I'll just say, uh, let me put it in perspective. Like, uh, I mean, to sand, to stain an easy color, like I said, like a vintage yellow back in the yeah. day. To do that, it would probably take you what, maybe like five minutes or whatever. Yeah. These, uh, some of these are taking probably almost close to thirteen to sixteen minutes to stain yeah, these things. Yeah. Gotcha. So, so it's it's quite a. And then easy. you got to put more stain on, then do it again. Do right? it again, yeah. and, and make sure you don't. You know, you know, like we call it bleeding the binding and all those, That's <laughs> all, tough, the, yeah. all the all the technical stuff to make it really, you know. Really is the um, so like what is so the sanding is the main difference because of the state, the amount of stages, yep, yep. and you got to make it right. So whenever you like, let's say, whenever you were messing around and came up with a Riza Verde. Okay. How many state? How many? Is that a sand out? It's not. It, it's a. That's a. That's a. What we call a double. Kind of a double color. We're kind of using like a. Almost using two primaries to create a secondary. Sure. So it's a basically a blue and a yellow, and they're you know slant. Now um, it's kind of like playing a chord in guitar. I, I would imagine. Um, if I put the yellow on first and put the bl the blue on second, it's going to create a green, but that green's going to shoot to the blue note, you know what I mean, to the gotcha. blue side. Now, yeah, if you yeah. reverse it, it's going to be to the yellow side. Gotcha. That's the way kind of color stack. Does that yeah. make any sense at all? You know, it's yeah, like that's, that's awesome. And that's the way, you know, look, generally all colors that we mess with, we, we just have really strong of the yellow, the, the blue, and the red. And yeah. with that, you pretty much have every color you you'll ever, ever and, sure. and that's what gives you the contrast. Now, with the sand that you can have a little more, you know, crazy contrast because you're saying that now you're throwing a lot more whites in there and then now yeah. you're giving it complete, you yeah, know, like yeah, I mean, yeah. everything's like really, really defined, you know. That's cool. So hopefully that makes, makes yeah, some sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's awesome. So whenever you're coming up with new colors, does that come from like, like Jim or somebody saying, hey guys, go mess around in the spray booth or is it because you, you kind of said, I'm going to try something today? 
know, yeah, how I mean, does that work? Some, some colors came out of, believe it or not, as dares. <laughs> like, for, you know, for, the reason Verde was a dare, because no one liked, I mean, it, it was actually Jim's idea. He said, why don't you come up with like some really crazy, make it look like lettuce. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, it was just kind of like, and the president didn't like, he, he was just like, that will never sell. And then, you know, he, he bet us a bunch of beers and it sold. So <laughs> other than that, um, to tell you the truth, it was just like, a, it's like anytime we needed a spark in sales, Jim would always be like, hey, come up with something, that, you, know, like, you know, I tell you what, this seems to be kind of hot. This seems to be, you know, whatever. See if yeah. you can find something. You know, like I said, it's so hard to come up with an original color because you got this much, you know, an electromagnetic spectrum of color. You, you know, you know <laughs> yeah. how many more reds can you come up with? How right, many more blues yeah. can you really come yeah. up with? So you know, so you come up with different combinations. But uh, generally, but generally, right now we're also like letting a lot of the people on the floor do colors because I tell you what, let them. You know, there's Walters has, has created some colors. Uh, you know, yeah. um, there's I think Mackie's working on some stuff. Just just to give us some outlets and stuff, because yeah. they see things very differently. So yeah. Yeah, that's, I guess that's where the two things. Get some different interpretations. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah. So. yeah, cool. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, man. Always good to see yep. you. Yep, yep, always. Yep. So. All right, man. All right, thank yeah. you. Take it easy. Yep.